Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Crypto Explorer. In today's video, I will go over how to mine low-key. I will go over two ways to mine. First with your CPU using the processor and second with your GPU or, or graphics card. I'll be using an i7 CPU and the graphics card I will be using is an NVIDIA 1050, uh, a GTX 1050. So let's get started. First we need to Go through our checklist of what we need. First, you got to get your wallet set up and get your Loki address. And I've got that already set up. And I have a earlier video where I show you how to set up the wallet. Next, we got to choose a mining pool. Now, there are different kinds of mining pools run over here right now. This is a, a crypto night mining pool. And um, but there's there's multiple pools to choose from. Um, for the for this video, I'm just going to be using the Crypto Knight Loki pool, as you can see over here. Um, here we go. So these are just a number of pools that I found on the Loki Discord. Um, they don't have any official pools as of now, and and these pools can be subject to change. Um, some go up, some go down, some, and personally, I just like to try a couple and find out which ones I actually get the best returns out of. Okay, with that, let's go to the computer that we'll be mining on, and first, let's see here. First, we need to download a miner. As you can see, I'm downloaded. I've downloaded them over here. And I'll put the links to the miners here. This is uh, the GitHub for XM rig. And I downloaded um, this is for the CPU mining. This is for Nvidia cards. And this one is for if you have an AMD card. Okay, let's minimize this and I'm just gonna go to the folder that we downloaded these. Okay, this is my mining, this is the address I want to mine to, so I'll just have that handy. So I am going to extract them on the desktop just to make it a little bit easier. So first we'll do the, the CPU miner. So I'm gonna right click and extract. And there you go. I'm just going to close this. And then I'm also going to extract the, the NVIDIA miner over here for my GPU. Right click and extract. So I got these two folders here. Just to make things easier, I'm just going to create a new folder. Actually, let, let me just double check here. Uh, actually, let me just make this. I'm going to rename these folder. I'm going to call this XM rig CPU. And I'm going to call this XM rig GPU. So let's do the CPU mining configuration first. Let's close this here. So every pool will have a diff different way to configure the miner. So let's just go here. This is the CPU miner. I'm going to right click this start bat file. It's a command file. Hit edit. And as you can see, it is pretty much empty. We need to put in our parameters in here. And let's go to the pool. This is the pool. And let us go to connect. And over here we can see the parameters. So here, this is the mining pool address. This is the hashing algorithm. And because we are CPU mining, we are going to use port 7731. And it's basically for the lower end uh, CPU. Uh, rigs. Well, 
one moment. Okay. Here we go. So here is our config file for CPU. We know that we want, let's copy our address real quick. So, okay, here we go. So first of all, we'll do our algorithm dash A, and for this coin, for Loki, it is Crypto Knight Heavy. And I'm just going to copy this all. Let's just do this. And I'll put, I'll put this in the description as well. So this is the algorithm. And this is the server we're, we're going to mine to. Because it's a CPU, we're doing port 7731. And then the username is going to be this address. Let's get the address. This is the our Loki address we want to mine to. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to put a space and paste it. And then. For the password, well, for this particular pool, you can give it a identifier to identify what workstation it is or what miner you're using. So I'm going to call it i7 LPT because this is a laptop and it's an i7 processor. And we're going to click Save. So let's minimize all this. And double click the bat file that we just saved. And we can see we are mining. So I'm going to copy the address. And we already have an accepted share. And let's go back to the pool website and see if we are registered already. The miner is showing up in there. So let's scroll down. And I'm going to put the R address here and click look up. And let's scroll down some more. And we can see here the worker and our hash rate. So we know we are successfully mining uh, Loki on this pool. OK, so that's it for the CPU. I'm going to close this. And then we're going to configure the GPU mining. And like I'm using NVIDIA. So the nice part is we can basically copy all of this into, let me close here, the GPU configuration. So let's right click that start, click edit, and copy all this and paste it. Make sure we have that space. And then we're going to change this to the GPU, and which is a GTX 1050. And then we're going to click Save. And then we're going to go back to here, and we're going to run it. Now we should be mining on the GPU. You can see here. And let's go back to, yep, it is registered in. So we know we are GPU mining. And if you want, you can also do CPU mining at the same time. Now it will be a toll on the computer. And let's refresh. If you really want to get as much mining out of that computer as possible. And let's go down and see. We should see shares being submitted. Um, pretty soon. It does take some time. Anyway, I'm going to close this up. And that is about it. Now, different um, pools have different requirements. 
So the parameters that we put in here will have to change. Normally, the only thing you'll probably have to change is the, the server and port. And then some pools, they rather have you have the password as X, and then they put a dot, and then you can put a GTX 1070 as the identifier. It really depends on the pool. Um, but um, be sure to check out um, each individual's pools, web pages on how to configure them. Anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching.